Hello, this is Mae McDonough, and this is the Psychedelic Cherry Episode 2. Hey, and welcome to Episode 2 of my blog, The Psychedelic Cherry. And today, uh, a lot of you guys ask me at shows and things like that uh, how I make my guitar pedals and uh, I'm not going to go into the details of actually building the circuit boards and wiring the thing up today I wanted to start uh, pretty simple so today I'm going to talk to you about how to paint your own guitar pedal so um, there are many methods of doing this and I'm sure if you search the internet um, you can find perhaps uh, completely alternative methods. But um, this is the method I use. It works best for my style um, of art. And uh, I think it's pretty simple and successful. So without any further ado, I don't want to talk too much. Here is what you're going to need to paint your own guitar pedal. You'll need an enclosure, of course. Pre-drilled is ideal. Your sketch. A uh, colored pencil so that you can test out your color scheme on page before putting it into paint. Transfer paper is an optional method. Um, spray paint, of course, for the body. And paint pens um, to actually do your painting with. Some tape wouldn't hurt either. So the first thing you're going to want is to tape up the holes in your enclosure so that paint doesn't get messy in the inside of the enclosure. You're going to want some spray paint that has primer built into it. Most spray paint does these days. Um, and then you're going to want to shake it up for about two minutes before it's ready to use. Once the spray paint is well shaken, lay out your enclosures on a safe place to paint and stand about six inches from the enclosure and spray in long, broad sweeps. You're gonna want to give everything one coat, then let it dry for about an hour, come back and do another coat. Repeat this process until you have three complete, dry, even coats. Once your enclosure is evenly painted and well dried, it's ready to paint. So you'll need your enclosure, a pencil or a pen, your preliminary sketch, and if you want, you can use carbon paper or transfer paper of some sort. I think today I want to just do this by hand, uh, so I'm going to get rid of that. There you go. And I'm just going to use my preliminary sketch as a reference for placement so that I can properly avoid uh, the holes inside the enclosure. And once I have my placement figured out, I'm going to grab my pencil and my paint pens and get started. Here we go.
So once you have your petal good and painted the way you like it, don't forget to, whoa, it's upside down, um, don't forget to label the buttons. Uh, I like to be um, mildly clever about it and rather than write volume and, and fuzz, I'll just put boom and zoom or whatever works with the art piece you're going for. Um, but yeah, once, once you've uh, finished actually painting it and giving it a good few coats, um, outlining everything one more time. Uh, you really just want to get, I like to use a triple glaze clear coat um, just to finish it off and spray that, let it dry, spray it one more time, let it dry, maybe give it a third coat if you really want to, but um, then you're done. It's ready to be wired. You just pull the tape out and you're good to go. Um, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this lesson on how to hand paint a guitar pedal. And uh, I'm Mae McDonough. This is the Psychedelic Cherry. And uh, thank you for watching. Please go check out my band, The May Company. <laughs>